Joseph Petito handed a $15,000 check to Safe Space Florida to help build a shelter in Indian River County. Our Angela Rozier spoke with him about the new facility and now he hopes by sharing his family's story, he'll be able to help many others. Joe Petito was one of several people who attended Wednesday's grand reopening of the Safe Space facility and organizers say the facility will help save lives. Three. Joe Petito says events like these motivate him and his family. It's good to feel this, you know, when you have something like this in such a positive way, even for something so tragic. The Gabby Petito Foundation is one of several organizations to donate money to help rebuild a safe space domestic violence shelter here in Indian River County. His organization is named after his daughter, who went on a cross-country trip with her fiancé and after a massive search was found dead. But he says this day is about safe space. I got to walk it and see the progression that happened it was just awesome to see. And there's so many little things that make it just so comforting. So if, if an individual comes in and they do actually make you feel like it's a home and especially if you have children, that's what you want. Safe Space CEO says the 19 bed emergency shelter is needed and the community responded. But she says Safe Space offers much more. We help them with gainful employment, with education, with childcare, medical services, mental health services, food bank, housing, clothing, anything that they need to transition to an independent life, we help them with. Petito also wants to bring attention to the NamUs site, a national information clearinghouse for missing people. He hopes by sharing his story, he will be able to help so many others. I think she will live on through so many of us because more and more people are being found. More and more people are speaking up on their own violence, you know, that's happening to them and to their children. And that's a great thing to see, but we still got more to do. In Indian River County, Angela Rosier, WPBF 25 News.